Hi, I'm Ashley, the Monogram Mompreneur. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm in my laundry room today because I'm getting so many questions about the Mommy and Me sublimation sweatshirts I did. Um, they're the Gildan Heavy 50-50. 50% poly, 50% cotton, and no one believes me that they wash really good. So I'm gonna do a wash test for you. Um, I'm gonna even bleach them because my daughter, she got cantaloupe. I mean, where'd she get lipstick? Yeah, lipstick. So here is the before. And then I'm gonna show you the after, okay? So again, we've been getting a lot of questions. These are the Gildan Heavy 50-50, 50% cotton, 50% polyester shirts that I sublimated in the tutorial earlier this week. So a lot of people have been asking, do they wash, do they fade? I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna use some cheapo bleach, just what I have on hand, and I'm gonna wash them in the washer and bleach them, okay? So I'm gonna show you the results after they're done. So there they are before, and I'm gonna show you the results after they're done. All right, let's go ahead and put them in. We got the bleach, let's go ahead and go. All right, so they're in there, they're gonna wash with the bleach, and I'll show you the final result at the end. Okay, so I'm in my closet right now, Okay, so let me show you these. This is a Gildan 50-50 heavy blend. You can see the pilling on here. This has been washed probably 10, 15 times. This is sublimation, okay? Here's the same sweatshirt, Gildan 50-50. And it, this one also has probably been washed like 10, 15 times. Um, you can see the pilling and there you go. So we shall see if the other, if the other ones hold up as well. This one has washed a month, like so many times and been bleached and it still looks awesome. So let's wait and see. Okay. So they just finished up. Let's see. Moment of truth. They still look really good. There's that one. And here's this one. Let's see if it got the stains out at least. Yeah, it did good. Okay, I'm gonna dry them. So let me see if I can lay them out and I'll show you. Okay, so here it is after it's washed. It hasn't been dried yet. As you can see, all the lipstick and cantaloupe is gone look at that so nice and clean so yeah this is what they look like wet i'm gonna dry them in the dryer but i i will say i do see a smidge a smidge of fading or it could just be lint so it's definitely not bad at all like i don't think anyone would complain because anytime there's red it's gonna fade um, it still looks phenomenal. So I'm gonna put them in the dryer and see what they look like after they're dried. But it definitely got all the stains out. My daughter's is completely clean. That's why I love sublimation is because you can bleach it. You can bleach the white shirts because when you wear white shirts, they're bound to get dirty, especially with kids. So here we go. Okay, so they're in the dryer. I didn't flip them inside out. I didn't do any special treatment. It's drying on pretty much high, normal, my normal regular setting. Um, I try to treat the things like I think the customers would because I, there's fabric softener in here, there was bleach, and now it's drying just on normal. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, the moment of truth. The drying is complete. Let's see. Okay, so here is the final result. What do you think, guys? So this is the 50-50 blend. This has been bleached, washed, dried. It really looks incredible. I do see a smidge of fading on the red, 
which I think anytime you wash red, whether it be a red shirt or anything, you might get fading. Um, but I 100% would feel comfortable selling these shirts and I'm super picky with what I sell and I would feel totally comfortable selling these. So let's get a close up. So there you go. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this wash test. Um, don't be afraid to try 50-50, especially 65-35 blends. Um, but these sublimate really great. I have had a lot of great results um, with this particular sweatshirt. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.